Greetings Warriors! Today marks the start of a new glory season. We would like to congratulate players and guilds that have taken part in the battles of the previous one and we hope that the combat changes that we have brought to you today will make the just started season a time of even greater and more memorable fights. Welcome to the new season and without any further ado, let's get straight to the changes we have prepared for you today. Let's start with one of the most significant changes in the latest update. The changes to heavy armor. High damage reduction and high stamina drain, combined with vulnerability against blunt damage, made full heavy armor builds not viable, compared to builds using a mix of medium and heavy armor parts. With our most recent update, we have decided to buff the reduction against blunt damage while slightly decreasing the reduction against piercing damage. After this change, a full heavy armor build should provide the best defense against all types of damage while not breaking the balance on the battlefield. We have also taken a closer look at archery in our game. In connection with the heavy armor changes, we have decided to decrease the damage dealt by headshots, while increasing the damage dealt with hits to the body. This change will reduce the max damage of a bow, but will make the damage dealt with it more consistent over time. Another important thing that changed with the recent update is the ability to block incoming arrows with a shield in hand. From now on, not only a shield equipped on the back, but also a shield in hand will block the incoming arrows even without holding a block. We cannot wait to see how this change will be used by our players in battle. Have you ever tried to start an attack but ended up performing a shield bash instead? We have heard the feedback of our community and decided to change the way to perform a shield bash in order to prevent its unwanted use and improve the fighting experience for shield users. This change should enable shield users to perform attacks and feints with comparable speed to other build types. With the introduction of the recent changes, two-handed axes have become a weapon of choice for many, as they provide many benefits with very few cons. We decided to reduce the slashing damage from side attacks slightly in order to balance out axes in comparison to other weapon types. We have observed that the craftable two-handed swords fall short of their special equivalents like the Crusher or Ancient Longsword. We have introduced changes in attack release speed and how the damage scales with the character's attributes for the craftable two-handed swords, in order to make them a viable option in combat. Supporter Shop has been totally reworked. From now on, every player can take a free gift once a week. One of the most interesting features is the possibility to try on multiple skins and buy them all together. Also, we have removed the skins window and from now, skins get activated straight from the shop. We sincerely hope that you will enjoy all the changes that we have prepared for you. Thank you for watching and see you on the battlefield.